Week 22 Preparation This week's scripture My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, or be wary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves him who he loves, as a father, the son in whom he delights. Proverbs 3, verse 11 and 12, the English Standard Version. Preparation for this week. When preparing for this week, think about the following. To refine always strengthens. Food for thought. Many of us have experienced loss in its various forms. Whether it is grief from the death of a loved one, the disappointment of canceled plans, or anything in between, loss seems overwhelming and all-encompassing. In today's scripture, we can find comfort in knowing that God is with us even in our suffering. Rather than leaving us to suffer in sorrow, when we seek Him, He restores us. He does not despise us or leave us to be consumed by sorrow. Rather, He loves us and refines us through His teaching. The Lord's teachings come from love and are meant to make us stronger and more resilient against trials and tribulations that come our way. He provides his guidance through our toughest times so that we may grow into better versions of ourselves. Through this process, we learn how to trust in him even when life doesn't make sense. We may not understand why something happens, but we can always know that God has his reasons for allowing it all. The understanding that God will never let us go, no matter what, can bring us comfort during difficult times. At the end of every storm, no matter how dark it may be, there will always be a light at the end of the tunnel. It is just a matter of having faith in him and trusting that he knows the way forward in any situation, even when everything around us seems chaotic and out of control. We can take comfort knowing that God is still watching over us with love and grace. Goals this week. As we get ready for a new week, it is a great time to refine some of our current goals, set new goals, and work towards achieving them. The Bible tells us that when we are disciplined by the Lord, it is because He loves us and wants what is best for us. With this in mind, how can we use this week as an opportunity to set meaningful goals that will help bring us closer to God? Here are some ideas or prompts for helping you accomplish your goals. Pray for guidance from the Lord as you lay out and set your goals. Make a list of things you want to do this week. Create daily reminders that keep you focused on your goal. Break down big tasks into smaller steps. Find accountability partners who can support and encourage you along the way. Dig a little deeper. You may find week 22 in the companion devotional to be a great partner to this section. 